Hello and welcome everybody. I am the IT guy and in this video we'll be looking at how to set up a Ubuntu live USB with persistent storage. So to start off we'll need to make sure that the universe repository is actually active and we can do that by typing in sudo add apt repository universe. Type in our password here and most likely it's already going to be enabled. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this repository is uh, added to our, so this, this resource is added to our repository, this PPA. So we're going to do the sudo add apt, oops, sudo add, add apt dash repository, repository, and then we're going to do PPA colon mkusb slash ppa then we're going to press enter so next we're going to do a sudo apt update next we'll do sudo apt install dash dash install dash recommends mkusb mkusb dash no x usb dash pack dash efi so those are the three things we're going to install it's going to ask us if we want to continue we're going to hit yes so we're now done installing all the software now let's continue installing the usb with the software we just installed so you'll need the ISO from Ubuntu and you'll, you can get that very easily from ubuntu.com. So we can go over to download. We'll download the LTS version over here. We'll download that and then we're going to use a USB stick and I have a 32 gigabyte USB stick lying around here. So I'm going to use that one. So I have plugged in my USB stick and I have downloaded the ISO file. The next thing we're going to do is we'll need to identify that drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do fdisk minus L. Actually, let's make that sudo fdisk minus L. And then we're going to find our USB stick. So I have this SanDisk Ultra Fit, and this is about uh, 28 gigs in size. Well, it's actually 32, but it's normal. It's a little bit smaller. Um, so we're going to have to remember that the drive is the slash dev slash slash SDE. So we're going to see that in just a, uh, in just a minute. So now let's open up, uh, MK USB and it's the, is this one over here. So it's going to ask us if we want to run MK USB ver version DUS. I'm going to hit yes. I'm going to type in our password. So welcome and notice about overriding. Okay, let's install. Let's click persistent live. Now let's choose our ISO. So with this one over here. Okay. Now let's select our uh, USB device. So this one. Okay. Now let's also select UPE, UPEFI. Now it's going to ask us the percentage of the drive. So um, this disk is pretty big, so I'm going to put it a little bit, little, um, little bigger over here. So let's say about 80 or let's say 75% can be persistent storage. Let's click OK. And then just choose this USB pack EFI 1. And then you just click Go and let's click Go. Also might ask you a lot of questions about the fact that it cannot install grub because you're running an EFI system. So it's probably going to ask you if you want to use the grub IMG. So we'll want to click uh, yes to that one. So we're done. We have installed it and we can start using it right now. So we're going to click OK and then we're going to just quit over here. Let's quit again. And then let's press, press enter and then let's exit out of our terminal. And now let's try to boot into our persistent USB drive.
So now we've booted into Linux, uh, we've booted into Ubuntu. Let's now go over to uh, to the right, to the left over here, and let's look at these two uh, icons over here. So we have writable and we have USB data. So if we would open this writable folder over here, we'll see that we have upper and we have work. So if we go into work, we'll see this red cross. But once you open that up, you'll find that I've already added a folder and uh, you can start adding folders over here. So I can add number three and these folders should remain in place. Now this is also handy if you have software you want to keep, keep in here. You can perfectly store it all in this writable USB drive or in this writable uh, in this USB data drive or in this writable USB drive. So they are both accessible. So you'll first have to uh, enable it by going into this work folder and then it will uh, allow you to write into those uh, folders perfectly. Now let us restart the system and let's see if the folders are still there after we actually reboot this system. So we're now back in our persistent storage drive. Let's open up the folder again. Let's open up writable. Let's go into work. Let's go into work again. And the folders are still all here. So it seems that it all seems to work out the way it should. So this was just a quick overview of how to set up a persistent storage drive in Ubuntu 20.04. I hope you liked the video guys and if you did please leave a like and a comment below and if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.